Hello student. So today I am going to cover 10 MCQ on finite element analysis. So this is going to be uh, useful for real time interviews for the industries and for the professionals. So the questions are. So the first question is what is the solution by FEA? Whether it will give the always exact solution or approximate solution sometimes exact or it will be never exact so the right answer will be approximate because fem is a numerical method so this will give the approximate values and approximate solution then we'll go for the next question What is the procedure for FEA? So we follow the some general procedure in the finite element method. So first one is pre-processing, post-processing solution. Second one, pro-processing, sorry, second one is pre-processing solution, post-processing. Third one is post-processing solution, pre-processing. Then last one is none. So here the procedure will be First, we will make the pre-processing, then solution, then post-processing. So, same will be applied in the FEM softwares also. Okay, so the option 2 will be the right answer. Now, the third question is primary variables in FEM structural analysis. So, generally a structural analysis which will give the deformation at each node. So the options are displacement, force, stress, strains. Okay, so in any structural analysis, the main primary variable will be based on the displacement, that is, a deformation will be. So the right answer is first one. Now the sec next question is assemble stiffness matrix after applying the boundary condition is a square, symmetric, banded or singular. So the fourth answer will be the right answer, singular. It will be, it will not be a singular boundary conditions. The next question is, the sum of the shape functions is, so shape functions always for any uh, element, if you add all the element, all the shape functions, so your result should be always 1, always 0, between minus 1 to 1 or it can be any number. So the sum of the shape functions like n1 plus n2 plus n3. So if you add all these values, so you should get the 1. Okay. So the first option 1 will be the right answer. Next. The finite element modeling every element is connected to. So as we know, there will be different elements in either it may be 1D bar element, 2D bar element. So the elements, if you take the 1D bar element, so there will be a number of nodes at their ends. Okay. So the question is, when you make the modeling, every element, it will connect with a 3 nodes or 4 nodes, 2 nodes and 1 nodes. Okay. So every, if you take the single element, because for a single element it has been defined with two nodes okay so the right answer will be third option it will be having two nodes sorry here there is a uh, third option will be the right answer here you have to click the third one next question is the lst element contains nodes Okay, so as we know, there is a constant strain triangle and linear strain triangle. So in the CST, if you take the triangular element, three elements are joined at their three nodes. Okay, so in the CST, at each node, at each element, there will be two nodes are connected. Means for triangular element, there will be three element and three nodes are connected in CST. In case of LST, linear strain triangle, in, in between the element, there will be middle, there will be one more node will be added. It means three nodes for CST plus 
another three middle nodes will be counted for the LST. It means totally three plus three, it will be six. So right answer is third one. Now, for 1D bar element, if the structure is having three nodes, then the stiffness matrix formed having order of. Okay, so if it is an 1D bar element having a three nodes, means uh, one two nodes at their ends, and middle there will be one more nodes, means there are three nodes. Okay, so what will be the stiffness matrix you are going to obtain? in this question they are asking okay so the matrix it will be having 3 into 3 okay so you are getting 3 into because the number of nodes are 3 so you are getting a 3 into 3 matrix so the next question is it's on problem for 1d bar element if the length of the element is 5 millimeter that is small l is 5 mm and cross section area is given as 20 millimeter power of 2 and E is that is Young's modulus 220 giga Pascal. So what will be the axial stiffness? So as we know for a bar element it is AE by L will be the stiffness. Okay. So for axial stiffness AE, A is the area that is 20 and E you should be convert here because it is given in giga pascal so you should convert the 220 into mega pascal so 220 giga value is 10 power of 9 pascal it is given so to convert 220 giga pascal into mega pascal you should take 220 into 10 power of 3 the into mega pascal okay so here 220 into 10 power of 3 means 20 into 220 power of 3 by L. L is 5 mm. So in the options there is given a A E by L. So first option is uh, A is not here. L is taken. L A is taken. So this is wrong. Next option A is taken as 20 into 20, uh, 20 220 into 10 power of 6 are been, uh, total there are 7 digits here means 220 into 10 power of 6 it will be taken it means uh, <coughs> it is not in mega pascal so next option is 220 into 10 power of 3 is taken okay so by 20 is there okay so it 20 is in the denominator so this is also wrong answer it means here none of the question answers are correct so it should be a e by l okay so 20 into 220 into 10 power of 3 divided by 5 the, that is the correct answer so the last answer last option is the correct so in the next class again we are going to solve another 10 mcu questions okay thank you